<laughs> and we're back. Um, yes. Yeah, we have to do a pot. We have to do a part two to this. One won't be very long. But let me explain why. Because I clicked stop instead of pause for this, one, for this <laughs> one, for last recording. So, uh, and to clarify about the whole, um, you know, vaccine and all that thing. Well, obviously, if you are still waiting for your vaccine, don't worry. You'll hopefully get an email or a text message. There we go. There you go. I forgot I forgot to clarify clarify that as I like, if you're wondering yeah. when is it happening? Right. You know, or text message, I don't know. Whenever it happens. But and uh yeah, where we left off, we were talking about bands and he him meeting Van Drunen and John Tardy and all those guys yeah. and uh, talking beer and me just blabbering and talking bollocks. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> he doesn't mind there, and I hope you I hope you out there don't mind either. Exactly. So uh yeah. More metal stuff. More metal stuff. More metal stuff. Yes. Have you done any guest appearances on any albums? As um, let's see here. I I did vocals for a friend's um album, um, Archaic Winter. Archaic Winter. Yeah, Archaic Winter. Um, and they're from North Carolina. Oh yeah. But uh, yeah, so I did. Vo- I think I did vocals in that whole album. That was a while ago. I can't. Uh, Death Black Metal. Uh, yeah, and I think I did on this first album. I think I did vocals for the whole album, if I can remember. This one. Yep. Yeah, that was it. It's a bit blurry because it's like. Okay, but yeah. It seems a bit. And um, I don't think I've done any other guest um, vocals on any album. I can't remember. I might have done a guest spot on something that's kind of jogging my memory, but I'm not sure. The only thing I can positively say is the archaic winter. Well, um, yeah, well, it would be cool to see you on, see you, hear your vocals on other projects. Yeah, obviously. yeah. But, uh, whenever you can, well, obviously you can do it from home, obviously, then go into yep. the studio. Exactly. Stuff. If you've got yep. yourself a home video set up, Home video setup, audio recording setup. Jesus Christ, <laughs> audio uh, setup, all <laughs> video setup. You want to record music videos? So, so sorry, yeah. Pressing stop on my last last recording. Kind of, kind of, it's kind of uh, making me talk talk ball. That's all right. That's all right. Again, yes, but yeah, fine. but uh, he's see Peter's fine with it. And uh, yeah. <laughs> has there been any new bands within death metal that you really enjoyed? over the recent years yeah i would say like um, i've gotten more into slam um over the last few years um than i ever had i wasn't never never really a, a huge fan but just just in there's so many bands out there um but yeah i mean i really got into pathology um great um analepsy yep. um yeah uh, oh my god Abominable Putridity, nice. um, just yeah, just getting into some of that just good shit and with fucking you know the disgusting vocals. Yeah, Matty um, weighs in a bomb. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yep, exactly, exactly. So um, I was just thinking that as well. I was like, that's another band he's in. <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, but yeah, I just been getting into that, and then um, you know with the. Uh, uh, the, the uh, website there or the uh, YouTube channel uh, was it Slam Worldwide? You know, just releasing, new, board, yeah, yeah, just releasing new new songs all the time or posting them. And uh, I I get a lot of my new music just from you know Facebook and uh, YouTube. You know, um, yeah. just the suggestions and you just so much new music coming out all the time with um, bands being able to record you know at home and stuff. Uh, so there's just is just there's a lot of good music. There's some some crappy stuff, but just because I think something might be crappy doesn't mean you know as crappy as anyone it's else. Crappy. It just it might not be my taste. So yeah, that's uh, true. Yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, you know I don't want to say you know there's some crappy stuff because it's just because it might not be my taste. But there's so much good music out there though. Yeah, because I've been listening. I mean, I still listen to a lot of slam bands, but I've been going towards more of the what people say call it cavernous death metal. So, okay. Like spectral voice, um, Mortis Ferrum. Okay. Uh, I think that's how you say it. I'm trying to. Yeah, I think so too. I think like so. That. Uh, 
fed it, cerebral rot, bands like okay. that. Yep, yep. Um, also, a lot of death doom, or like really atmospheric death doom. That sounds funeral doom. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like, there's one from Florida who we mentioned Florida. The last, last pop, I mean, the very f- first pop of this chat. Um, they're called Worm. Well, I don't know if I, I've heard of them, but well, what are they? They're, just, they're just a doom band. They're like, deaf doom. They used to be black metal. Their first album was a black metal album. Okay. And they changed it from that to deaf doom. But I got the album Gloom Lord. And send me it, some links. I like to check it out. Send me yeah, some I'll links. Check it out if you're into your really slow, yeah. heavy deaf doom. I love it. All right. I will check it out. Yeah, I'll send it over. And the, in the album and in, in the booklet, it's got a poster. It's got a poster. Of, there's only two of them in the band. And it says Floridian Funeral Doom. Nice. And the picture of him is somewhere in Florida in the woods. <laughs> I love it. So I was like, heavy music and nature. That's, yeah, that's, that's amazing. Oh, yeah. Yes. You've got to have it. Nature and heavy music. All just, yep. well, heavy music and some folk music. There you go. There you go. Um, and speaking of music, I always have, I always ask, my, not always have to ask them. I, my guests, I ask my guests about their merch. If people wanted to buy, you know, T-shirts or the albums or whatever you have by Blood Soaked, yeah, people go and find it. Yeah, if they want, if people want physical merch, um, you know, shirts, X album, um, you know, CDs, shirts, uh, posters, flags, hats, whatever, uh, they can go to Comatose Music. Comatose Music. So I, I think it's just comatosemusic.com, um, and then just do a search for Blood Soaked when they're on there um yep comatose is on here <laughs> yep yeah oh yeah yeah and they they have all my physical stuff uh they sell it all so support them you know great label they support the underground for many years so and on uh, the cdm records as well do they oh yeah yeah and, mo- almost any distro should have um my cds i would think most of them have so and i know steve from uh comatose still you know, gets it out to uh, a lot of the, you know, distributors. So, you know, yes. But if you, if you just want to support, you know, me and uh, the rep, my, you know, my former label there, Comatose, they can, you know, definitely um, check it out there. And then if you just want to, if people are just looking to uh, stream it, you know, it's the albums are on all the, you know, fucking Spotify and Apple music and Google music and all this other stuff. And then, you could also just go to um, my uh, blood soaked Bandcamp page and download or stream all you know everything from there as well. Yeah, if you want to buy physical copies or just the digital release, yep. what they got Bandcamp, you can find them on Bandcamp. Like yep. most places, most bands will have a Bandcamp. Exactly, That's why it's called Bandcamp. Bandcamp. <laughs> yep. Fucking Bandcamp. <laughs> yes. My, yes. My, one of my bands has a Bandcamp. Yep. Which I'll send a link to. Yeah, please do. If you like your stoner doom, send it. I'll listen to it. So, so yeah, I'm doing selfless promotions again and talking about COVID vaccines. And there you go. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> it's a good talk. It's all right. It's been know, fun. I don't know because it's just it's been in the headlines. You can't help but talk about it. Sure. Like, yep. Um, what's the other thing? I'm thinking the other thing to say. Uh, obviously, if you want to support his band, it's on Facebook. Uh, Twitter, it's YouTube. Yep. No Instagram, as far as I know. <laughs> yeah, no, there is Instagram. It's uh, I think it's okay. uh, Blood Soaked Peter on uh, Instagram. That's why I was. I keep yeah. doing the metal archives. That seems to be the go-to. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I think it's, it's Blood not, Soaked. For some reason, when it goes to like related links, it oh, yeah, it's, it's Facebook yeah. and shit. But yeah, Inst- Instagram is just Blood Soaked Peter. All right, so if you want to follow, follow him on Instagram as well as Facebook yep. and Twitter and YouTube and there you whatever go. Where else he might be on? Fucking a. <laughs> Which I'll have all linked in the description below as Perfect. always. Perfect. Perfect. And um, um, oh, oh, cool. I got, got a mate of mine in uh, 
in Chicago named Ken. He has the channel Ken's Death Metal Crypt. I don't know if you've seen those videos. I'm not sure. But um, there's something I wanted to say during the chat we were having in the first part, because it's going to be split into two parts now, about metal music. Yeah. You don't choose metal. Metal chooses you. That's a quote from him. I would agree. And he's been a metalhead since he since 1983. Nice. Yes. And he was also because he, he was born in the 70s as well. Yeah. So he grew up with all sorts of different music. But he said, once I heard metal, it ruined my life. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a great. So yep. in some ways, it's like, oh, yeah, you got a gig coming up and then it get and then it gets canceled. Well, that's just ruined my life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like, oh, album's coming out. Oh, we had to postpone it until another week. Well, that's just ruined my life. <laughs> yeah. Or one of your bands put up. Well, that's just ruined my life. Yeah. <laughs> Some of my favorite bands is putting up. I'm like, yeah, that's ruined my life. Yeah. But oh, shit. Obviously, there's new bands you can check out. Like, one of my favorites recently is Frozen Solve out of Texas. Okay. If you like Bolt Thrower, they're basically... They basically have that sound, that Bolt Thrower right. sound, but they're from Texas. It's uh, Bolt Thrower yeah. from Texas. Yeah, send me any that as a compliment. Yeah, send me any links that you got. Yeah, definitely. I'll send you links yeah. to my own band and yeah. bands I've checked out very recently or we go. over the years. And Bristol bands, obviously, because we've got a lot. We've got from Death Thrash to Brutal Death to Doom to Fuck knows what. Right. I don't know what else we got. But uh, and before I let you go, yeah. Once COVID you know, has decided to, you know, cry home like a little bitch. Yeah. You know, try and make light of the situation. <laughs> Is there any bands that you haven't toured with yet that you like to talk with? Shit, when this is all over, I don't care who it is. I just want to get back out and see shows, play shows with anybody and everybody. Yeah. You know, just, just support them them support me and just get out and get this shit going again yeah that's that's what we want that's what everybody within i, I mean specifically the metal scene yep want we want gigs we want festivals i mean for me i want bloodstock to go ahead this year because it's yes. one of the best festivals one of the best metal festivals within the uk it's usually for four days, but now it's for five days because they added an extra day. Yeah. As it didn't go ahead last year. We can write that off. Because the last gig I went to was Testament. Okay, nice. At the Bristol Road 2. Obviously, he's in Bristol. Uh, idiot. Uh, anyone from anyone I know from Bristol watches, I always is from Bristol. I know this. Uh, I know this. I've had a long day. Yeah. <laughs> We all have had a long day. And on that note, thank you very much for joining me on Jake's Metal Chat. Jake, thank you so much for the support, supporting Bloodstock and just supporting metal in general, man. It's it's people like you. It. It's people like you that just keep the community going, metal alive forever, you know? Yeah, I, yeah I, I do my best to, you know, um, keep this thing going, as it were. I, I mean, I'm, it. I'm doing it from my bedroom or... I'm li- or I, you know, either I'm linking bands to people via messenger, or I'm talking to them on Zoom or something. I recommend bands, and then right again the linking aspect. Yeah, and uh, yeah, that's a yeah. That, so yeah, I no, it was great. No, it's good to hear you say that. I'm t- oh yeah, man. And I'm going to continue to support Blood Soaked. And if you haven't heard Blood Soaked, none of you out there, none of you've heard this. Be sure to check out Blood Soaked. If you're into your brutal, technical death metal, and you just love, you, you, you well, you just love death metal in general, but you are into yeah. those two specific subgenres of death metal in particular, Blood Soaked is the one to go to. Thank you very much. I appreciate the interview, man. Thank you so much. And you're welcome. And I said this to previous guests and uh, any other guests that I've had before are watching this. 
you're welcome to come back on the chat and then we can just do one where, where we just discuss metal in general favorite bands favorite albums where the scene will be going i don't know five ten years from now i don't know right but uh why don't what don't do oh yeah five, ten years from now yes we who can knows? definitely do that who knows uh so on that note he's been peter from blood soaked i've been jake your host of jake's metal chat be sure to like my videos share them around and be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already because well it means a lot when you do because it stops me from going insane and then talking complete and utter shit uh, <laughs> sometimes because <laughs> i tend to talk a lot of random crap but once i get on t when i get on point that's the whole when i get on point and talk about the subject at hand then it's all a bunch of fun isn't it yeah so once again he's peter i'm jake thank you for watching this video no more chats along the way and keep supporting metal